Roma's under is very close to joining on loan. Is there anything you can tell us about that one? Are you interested in him, Brendan? He's a, he's a very, very good player. You know, I know that. I think that there's been a negotiations with the with the club, so so we're hopeful that we can get something there. Um, I just feel that, the, like I said, at the end of last season, we needed a different type of attacking player or players to come in and, and support the, the top end of the, the field. And, uh, and having watched watched him and, uh, and seen him play for the last number of years at Roma and for Turkey then he, he's clearly a talented player but um, but nothing more on that until it's no. finalised uh, Are you able to tell us what you like about him whilst not confirming the deal is or, or isn't indeed being done but you've watched him you've, you're interested in him you say he offers you a different kind of approach as a player if uh, stars were to align and he were to become your player be it on loan or a signing or what, what, what is it about this player that you've uh, decided to watch and, and, and look at? No, I'll probably speak more about the individual if if we sign and it's all complete, Ian. But mm-hmm. I think it's clear we, you know, at the top end of the field we have pace and power. Um, but for me, I felt we also need a little bit more football in there as well with with the speed. And uh, so that, that that was a key in terms of recruitment, looking for someone who can, you know beat someone in a 1v1, excite supporters watching, excite the team and uh, and just uh, defences that are organised. You need different types of qualities to to break that down. Like I say, we, we've got tremendous speed at the top end of the, the field and on the sides. Um, but we also need that, uh, like I say, a little bit of football in there where it's tight and you need to be able to make a pass or, um, or like I say, dribble past someone. So that's, that, that's the type of profile that we'd be looking for. Um, Damari Gray wasn't in your squad at the Hawthorns, Brendan. Does he have a future at the club? Well, he's very much, whilst he's here, he, he'll always uh, be respected for his quality and, and what he has. You know, we, um, I'll always analyse players in training and, and then pick a squad and, and a team that we feel can get as a result. So, uh, but he's, he's clearly in his last year. He hasn't signed uh, another deal. Um, but for me, I'll always, you know, respect Damari and what his wishes are. And at this moment in time, he's, he's working very hard to to play a part whilst he's here. So, uh, and we'll see how that evolves over the course of the season. Do you see him leaving? That'll be that'll be up to him. I've really really enjoyed working with, with Damari. He's, he's a good guy. You know, he's been here since he was a young player. And. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but he's now 24 and it'll just be whether he wants to continue in that, the role that he's played here or whether he sees himself going out to try and become a starter. But what I know is he's a good guy. Um, he's got talent, that's for sure. And um, and whilst he's here, we'll always look to him, help him improve that talent. And yeah, we'll, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how that evolves. It's going to be a huge test. It's going to be a huge test, but it's a... It's a, that type of test that we want, you know. We're trying to build a squad that is robust and can compete in, in all competitions. And you know, our aim is to, to arrive into European football last at the beginning of last season, and and uh, and thankfully we were able to do that. So it's going to be great experiences ahead for the squad. Uh, it's going to be a demanding season, um, but one that we're we're excited about. You know, we've already spoken about this as a squad. This is going to you know, there's going to be a real demand from everyone to just ensure that you're physically fit, you know, and, and technically and tactically we'll prepare the team to get into every game. But uh, but physically it's going to be a, a a big season. But that's that's what we wanted. Burnley on Sunday. Brendan, how is um, a, a preparation for facing Burnley at home different to preparation for, for facing West Bromwich Albion away in your first game? Well, you've got to prepare with equal detail, I think, that's and, and concentration. You know, I've got huge respect for for, for Sean and, and for Burnley and, and the work that they've done. And and they actually still don't, you know, watching the and analysing their games, uh, partly from last season and then, they, they actually don't get the, the res, you know, the full respect of the fo- for the football that they play. You know, they, they're, they're, they've got really, really talented players um, that are... They're always super organised. They've got a real good balance in their team between attacking and defending. Um, and they've got some highly gifted technical players. 